Hi guys, this is Mrs. Gessler, and in this video we're going to talk about the difference between an element, compound, and mixture, but really only from the point of trying to identify whether something is an element, a compound, or a mixture. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a flow chart of questions that you're going to ask yourself, and the first question is, are the particles, I'm going to underline particles because that's the important part here, are the particles the same or different. Now by particle we mean a chunk, okay? So in a particle diagram that would be the separate pieces. If they're separated by space then they're different particles. If they are touching, if they're stuck together, then they are one particle. So the first question is, are the particles the same or different? And they can be turned, but as long as they have the same set of stuff in them, then they're the same, okay? If they are the same, then they are what is called a pure substance because that's what a pure substance is and if the particles are different then it is whoops I forgot to write different different if they are different then it is a mixture now sometimes when we're talking about mixtures we might need to know what what kind of mixture it is, what's in the mixture, but um, there are different types of mixtures uh, that, that we're not going to worry about right now. Um, so if, if it is a mixture and you need to know what kind, what's in the mixture, then you would ask yourself about the same things for each different type of particle, which we'll make a note of that here in just a minute. Um, one thing to note when you don't have a particle diagram, if you needed to know if the particles were same or different and you weren't really sure, um, if there's some sort of formula, it's probably um, a pure substance. And if there's not a formula, or there's a bunch of formulas with an and sign in between, then it is a mixture. If it's something that has an ingredients list on the back, like a bottle of soda or tea or um, anything like that, then it is a mixture. All right, so pure substance, we've got to ask ourselves a second question because it doesn't tell us if it's an element or a compound. We only know it's not a mixture. So we need to ask ourselves, Question two, are the atoms, are the atoms the same or different? So maybe they're single atoms and they're all the same. In that case, you'd pick same. Maybe they're atoms that are stuck together. If they're the same atoms stuck together, then that's the same. If they're different atoms stuck together, then you would pick different. So over here we'll put same and over here we'll put different. And if it is the same, then it is an element. And if the atoms are different, then it is a compound. And so that's how we know if something is an element, a compound, or a mixture, by looking at the particle diagrams. Now, the note here, if you need to know what is in it, ask Question two for each particle type, okay? So if you've got uh, some individual things and maybe you've got some things stuck together, maybe you have a third thing that's a bunch of different things stuck together, then you can find out if each one of those is an element or a compound, and then it could be a mixture of elements or a mixture of compounds or a mixture of elements and compounds. Now, um, the other useful thing to know when it comes to whether, knowing whether it's an element, a compound, or a mixture is um, looking at the, the formulas, okay? Um, this formula here has an and sign, like uh, I use that one in the computer, it looks more like a cursive S, um, and sign, um, or it doesn't have one. Sometimes they don't write a chemical formula down for things like milk because there's a whole bunch of different things in milk. Proteins, fats, lipids, uh, water, sugars. It's, all, it's a big mix of things and a bunch of different things, so they don't write a formula for that one. For elements, um, there's only uh, formulas. We'll have one capital letter, and it's always on the periodic table, too. Those, that's the other thing you'll know. If you can find it letter for letter on the periodic table, then it is an element. Now, uh, for a compound, all of the pieces, the letters, if you were to break it up, would be on the periodic table, but they are stuck together. They have two or more capital letters. 
and that's how you know it is a compound. Um, some examples here would be like a O or a L. Um, here we could have AL2O3. Um, there's two capital letters there. Um, and then maybe for a formula, maybe we have H2O and NaCl, but there's the and sign there. Um, so those are going to be what it looks like when you see the different formulas. All right, so that's element compounds and mixtures. Thanks for watching.